Welcome back to Let's Get Cooking. It is Christmas season and I'm so excited. Today I want to share with you these Panera Bread inspired orange cranberry cake loaves. I love orange, I love cranberries, and today we're making these mini loaves. But before we start, please take a moment and subscribe. Remember to like and share. For these yummy orange cranberry cake loaves, I'll be using some flour, some sugar, some baking powder, a little bit of milk, a couple of eggs, some oil. Our special ingredients are the fresh cranberries and a couple of oranges, a little vanilla extract and orange extract. All right, make sure you have it. Let's get started. I wanted to make and share this recipe with you all because I had some extra cranberries left over from Thanksgiving. And I love that orange muffin at um, Panera Bread. So I was like, let me make something similar and then share it with the audience. So here we go. We're going to start off with our flour. That's two cups of flour. Always want to add a little bit of salt, just like a little pinch of salt to your flour. And then I'm adding in the two teaspoons of baking powder. Um, I'm using a half teaspoon little measure and that's why I keep on putting it in. But that's two teaspoons of baking powder. So you have your flour, your baking powder, and your salt. That's it, and you just want to combine that well, stir it for a minute or so, and then we're going to go ahead and sit that to the side. Okay, now that that's done, I have my extra bowl to which I'm going to start mixing the wet ingredients. This recipe is so easy, y'all. You have to make it. So I'm adding in a cup of sugar. You can take it up to about a cup and a quarter. Um, I found that they could use a little bit more sugar. So a cup or a cup and a quarter sugar. Then you want to zest an entire orange and just zest that if you have a zester or a grated best way possible because your orange flavor is really in the peeling so i'm gonna keep zest until i have about a good teaspoon or two of orange zest and once i have that in the sugar i'm going to mix that well because those oils that orange oil it's just going to impart it's just going to mix and blend in with the sugar and that's just going to bring out that extra strong orange flavor so there's my orange zest. And I'm just going to mix that in with the sugar for about a minute or so. Just want to combine the two, the sugar and the orange zest. That's bringing out a strong, very strong orange flavor. And that's a natural orange flavor. So that's what you want in our treats. Once I'm finished mixing those together, then I'm going to add both my eggs, one at a time. And your eggs should be at room temperature. These set out for a little while so that they were at room temperature. I'm also adding in my milk. And I'm using whole milk because you want more fat. So that's a half a cup of whole milk. Then I do have a quarter cup of fresh orange juice. You can juice the orange that you zested. Or you can just take some fresh orange juice that you may have in the refrigerator. And finally, I'm adding in a half a cup of oil. Could be vegetable oil, canola oil, whatever oil you have on hand. I don't recommend olive oil, but you could use it if you do have it. That is a, health, a healthier alternative. And I just want to mix those in very well. No, my hands are not ashy. <laughs> That is the flour, of course. So I'm combining my wet ingredients, adding in about a teaspoon or two of vanilla, and adding in a half a teaspoon of orange extract if you have it. And I want to mix that together. You want to do everything um, by hand, not use an electric mixer, because you do not want to over mix this recipe. So I'm just using, using a whisk. If you have a whisk or if you have a large spoon, that'll work just fine because you do not want to overmix the batter. They will come out 
too tough to dent. So you want to mix till it's just combined. I'm adding in the dry ingredients as you see. Those are the dry ingredients that we started off at the beginning. The flour, the baking powder, and the salt. Adding those to the wet ingredients, giving those a quick mix. Then once I'm finished mixing that together, I'm going to add in the cranberries. And let me tell you a little something about the cranberries. It's a cup and a half of fresh cranberries, and I did go ahead and cut those in half so I wouldn't have those big bursts of cranberries in these loaves. You could use whole cranberries, but I chose to cut them in half. I did add a little bit of flour and sugar around the cranberries just to sweeten them up and the flour allows them to mix well in the batter so you do want to put about a tablespoon or so of flour and a tablespoon of sugar in with your cranberries and just let those sit for about 15 to 30 minutes and it just allows the cranberry not to cranberries not to fall to the bottom when they're baking so that's a very important step and once again they're mixed in the bowl that looks pretty that looks good already it looks festive here goes our orange cranberry loaves we're going to get ready to put those in the oven i baked them at 380 for about 20 or 25 minutes you also can make these into um muffins i just chose to use my mini loaves pan because i wanted those today but you also can use cupcake, or should I say a muffin pan, and just make them into muffins. As you see, I added a couple of fresh cranberries to the top of the batter before I put them in the oven, and I sprinkled a little bit of sugar. Look at those cooking in the oven. They're so pretty. They're perfect for the Christmas holiday, or actually any time of the year, really but we're making them during christmas season and that is once they've come out the oven they look so good and delicious they're hot and warm and they smell so so good now you're welcome to eat them just like this fresh out the oven but i wanted to take them up a notch and put a little orange glaze on top of them just to give them a little bit of extra charm so I'm using some powdered sugar. It's about a cup, cup and a half of powdered sugar. I use some fresh orange juice. And basically just mix the two till I got the consistency that I wanted. I think I added a little bit of orange extract also. And this glaze is so simple. It's so simple. You could just make a vanilla glaze if you have powdered sugar and vanilla and a little bit of milk. You can also do that. But I'm just making it an orange glaze with a little burst of orange flavor because I thought that would complement the loaves. So I have my powdered sugar, orange extract, orange juice, and I'm just mixing it, mixing it well. And I just want to get a smooth consistency not too thick but yet not too loose so i just played around with it i would say it probably was about a tablespoon of orange juice to one cup of powdered sugar and about a quarter teaspoon of orange extract if you have it if you don't don't worry about it it will turn out just fine and i'm keep mixing that's the consistency that I was looking for. And I'm just going to drizzle this over the loaves. Okay, here are my loaves. I put them on a baking rack and I'm about to drizzle them with the glaze. Yes, yes, yes. This is so good, so yummy. What I love about these is you can wrap them up and they'll last a couple of days at room temperature or you can put them in a refrigerator heat them up for about take them cut them up heat them <laughs> heat them up in the microwave for like 10 seconds and it is just the best you can eat it for breakfast you can eat it for a snack you can eat it 
any time of the day that you feel like having a nice sweet treat. Look how easy the glaze goes on. Not trying to be picture perfect. No need to be extra pretty with it. We just want to get a little bit of glaze. And I am finished. Tis the season for these orange cranberry cake loaves. Please make them. Your family will love you for it. Your friends will love you for it. They are delicious. They are great. And you can make them as muffins. Please don't forget. Merry Christmas in advance. Don't forget to subscribe. Thanks for watching. Until next time, have a merry, merry, blessed Christmas. Take care.